Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set on seating arrangement which is quite interesting. It says that there are 9 kids A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. They participated in a musical chair game and uh, they sat on 8 seats which were numbered 1 to 8 in the clockwise direction. So it means that 8 people were able to sit, 1 person could not sit on the seats. Okay. Now no two kids sat on the chairs at the same time. So they have different order of sitting. So first person will sit, then second person, then third and so on. Okay. Uh, so uh, let us draw this, the seats. There are eight seats which are numbered one, two, eight in a clockwise manner. Right. These are the seats numbered one, two, eight. Now it is saying that uh, the first kid to sit took the seat number three. This is seat number three. This is the first kid who sat on this seat. Okay. Next statement says that uh, the kid who sat second sat on the seat third to the right of the kid who sat first. So the second person to sit sat on the seat which is third to the right of this. So since they are facing outside, third to the right will be this seat. So this is the second person to sit. Okay. Then uh, the and the third person to sit was uh, so the kid who sat third sat on the seat third to the right of the kid who sat immediately before him so third to the right this is the third person to sit okay uh, then the fourth person will sit on this seat right fifth person will sit on this seat sixth person on this seat right seventh person on this and finally the eighth person on this seat. So what we have written inside is seat number and the numbers outside is your sitting order. Okay, so now let us uh, read the statements and uh, fill in the positions. So G did not sit on seat number four. Okay, G could have sit on any other seat. C got eliminated as he could not occupy a seat. So C is not sitting. Rest of the eight, rest of rest eight of the nine are sitting on the seats. H and B sat on adjacent seats. So there could be multiple possibilities. E sat immediately after D while F sat second to the left of D. Again, multiple possibilities possible. Uh, then A who was not the last kid to sit sat after E and G. Again, multiple possibilities. Now, if you read this statement, let us focus on this because it is slightly different. It is not something uh, saying that he is sit, sat on this seat or did not sit on this seat. So what it says is uh, G sat immediately uh, after the kid who sat immediately to his left, but before the kid who sat immediately to his right. So that means let us say this is G. There is a person sitting to his left. There is a person sitting to his right. So G sat after the kid who sat immediately to his left. So suppose their sitting orders are X, Y and Z respectively. This is this is the seating positions and these are the sitting order. Okay, the numbers that we have written outside. So he sat immediately to the he sat after the kid who sat immediately to his left. So this is left and G sat after him. So that means G's sitting order should be high. Right, sitting order, let us say 4 is sitting order is more than 1, right? 6 sitting order is more than 3. That means y is greater than x. And but uh, before the kid who sat immediately to his right, so g is sitting before this person. So that means the sitting order of uh, this person sitting on right is more than g. So that means z is greater than y. Okay, so we will have to look for numbers that are uh, in descending order like this z greater than y greater than x. So right side should be a lower number, then central number, then the third number should be the lower one. Okay, so let us start looking from this side. Okay, so 3, 8, 5 not possible, 5, 8, 5, 2. So there is one possibility of 8, 5, 2. Okay, then we have uh, 2, 7, 4, 7, 4, 1 is another possibility. 852741 okay and 416163 so we are done so we have two possibilities okay so g has to be the central person but it is given that g did not sit on seat number 4 so that means this case is not possible 852 so this is g 
g is sitting on seat number 5 okay now uh, let us uh, arrange these people also um, we'll use statements other statements so it says a who was not the last kid to sit sat after e and g right so a is not the last kid to sit so he cannot be the eighth person okay he sat after e and g so g is the fifth person so a has to be sixth or seventh okay now next we have is that uh, this we have used this we have used e sat immediately after d while f sat second to the left of d so let us make the positions of d e and f let us talk about sitting sitting order okay so uh, e sat immediately after d suppose d is the first person to sit then e will be the second person and f sat second to the left of d if d is here right so second to the left will be 3 so in that case f will be 3 okay suppose d is the second person to sit if d is the second person to sit e sat immediately after d so e will be the third person to sit okay so e is the third person and f is uh, second to the left of d so second to the left is 4 so f will be 4 in that case okay now if you take d is equal to 3 d is the third person so e sat immediately after d so e will be the fourth person to sit okay and f will be second to the left of d so third second to the left is this but g is already sitting there so this is not possible right 3 4 5 will not be possible now d cannot be the fourth person because e cannot be the fifth e is immediately after d so e cannot be fifth and d cannot be fifth also right uh, so uh, these give us the possibilities now you cannot take like 4 and 5 are not possible if you take what will happen if you take 6 7 right suppose you take d 6 and e 7 now a sat after e and g okay so if you take d 6 and e 7 a will become eighth which is not possible so we have only two possibilities d e f d e f okay so let us make two cases right so that uh, we'll be able to fill these so here we have g okay so let us in the first case let us take d e f s 1 2 3 so this is d this is e this is f now in this case we will take 2 3 4 as d e f so d there we have e and f is on seat number 4 right so we have placed these people now uh h and b sat on adjacent seats b sitting before h did now uh f h uh, h and b will be sitting on adjacent seats so if in this case if you see h and b can sit on these two seats only right h and can b can occupy these two seats and b is sitting before h so we will have this as b and this is h okay right now uh, we have used all these conditions then a is not the last kid to sit so a will not be this person a will be this person and we will have uh, i is left so i will be on this seat so one arrangement is this okay second arrangement uh if i take these cases in this case h and b are on adjacent seats so these two will be h and b and b sitting before h so this is uh, this is uh, a lower order so this will be b this will be h now a is not the last kid so this cannot be a this will be a this will be i so we get two possible arrangements okay now first question is who was the last kid to sit so last kid is on this this is the eighth person to sit so in any case we have i as the last kid to sit on which seat number did b sit now in this case we have b sitting on seat number 4 and in this case we have b sitting on seat number 3 okay so we cannot determine 
who sat on the chair opposite to the chair on which e sat now let us take this condition e e opposite is a in this case e opposite is a so irrespective of the case a is sitting opposite to e okay now next is if d was the first kid to sit on a chair on which chair did h sit okay now in we will consider this case because d is the first person to sit now in this case h is sitting on seat number 5 okay so it should be seat number 5 So they have not given in uh, the option should be take it seat number five. Okay, so this completes the uh, the explanation to this seating arrangement question.